Many people today have an unhealthy addiction to their snooze buttons. People will wake up, get out of bed to their alarm clock, go turn it off five feet away, and then they'll get back into bed and fall asleep. This is especially alarming because people are often tardy to their daily routine. Also, the education system in America is lagging behind other countries. Despite the fact that America pays five times the amount on education, our standardized test scores are behind. And also, the, the value of the dollar is misunderstood by many people. Because of this, we, the Clements Tech Girls, a based company in Sugarland, Texas, have created the Early Bird Alarm Clock app. This app has the basic functions of an alarm clock and includes educational lessons. When, a person wake, when the user wakes up in the morning, they have to complete an educational challenge. And this could include a math problem, a spelling game, in order to jumpstart their day and stimulate their minds intellectually. Early bird, the name of the alarm comes from the saying, the early bird gets a worm. This shows the importance of waking up, and this is the main goal of te Clemens Tech Girls. We'd like to instill early learning and um, life skills in children. Our main target group is going to be elementary school children, and we look to expanding to catering to other age groups in the future. For example, for teenagers or high college level students, we could have high school algebra or calculus in the near future. <laughs> so our app has four main components. The first one is the alarm, the challenges, the history page, and the in-game store. So the, once the alarm goes off, uh, the app will call up a challenge chosen at random out of six possible tests. This is so that the user can't prepare beforehand and that they must be able to answer any educa educational challenge. Once the alarm is shut off and the challenge is completed, um, the app will direct you to its third function, the history page. This records what challenge you did, um, how long it took you, how many tries it took you, so that the user, the student, the teachers, and the parents can also check how long it took them, and they can track their progress throughout. After, uh, after you shut off the alarm, um, the app also awards you worms, the in-game currency. These are used to buy virtual pet bird, or an alarm snooze if you don't want to play a game one day. These will <laughs> these help with the in-game store, but they're also designed to help users better manage their money. Early Bird has a substantial market size for, as uh, according to an article called Media and Early Childhood, 52% of children five through eight years old have access to a smartphone device. Um, therefore, in order to publicize to this uh, targeted age group, um, word of mouth advertising, uh, emails to teachers and to schools, and publicizing on other websites that are educa deemed educational uh, will be utilized. Um, so Clemens Tech Girls plans to have 50,000 users uh, and 10,000 uh, school administrators and teachers in elementaries um, by, the third, by the third year of the product launching. Um, the company strongly believes in building habits, positive habits, early on as a strong foundation for, su for success in the future. Therefore, um, we hope that the young users have the ability to cultivate and maintain the skills that they learn from our app throughout their lives. So you're very wise not to target my 15-year-old daughter as your first group. <laughs> um, how, how do you plan on expanding this beyond that elementary school age? So we have plans, um, plans for all the games um, to make them more difficult. For example, we have some math, uh, math game called Number Sense, and currently it only has addition of two digit plus one digit numbers up to 30, a sum of 30. So um, we have multiple requ requests from our school um, for questions in AP style, possibly, um, for those students who want to take the AP tests in different subjects. So we've had a lot of requests with calculus problems. Mm. 
So you've identified several big problems that you're trying to get one app to solve all at once. Do you know, do you have any ideas about how you might measure its effectiveness? Well, for the educational one, to help better them, we can probably track their progress when the history page, because the history page will show you how long it took you to answer a question and how many tries. So as the time gets shorter and the tries get less, then we can, we can see that they're learning more or they're getting better at guessing. <laughs> um, my question is, um, elementary school, do elementary school children know how to set alarms? Yeah? Well, actually, a lot of, uh, in this century, we noticed that kids actually learn to use phones better than adults. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I, once they start solving all these problems, would they understand how, to, how would they purchase their worms? The worms are awarded after you complete a challenge based on how accurately or how quickly you complete it. So the faster you do it, the more worms you get. But there is a limit set, so you can't get like 100 worms a day. These worms are used in the in-game store to buy like a snooze if you don't want to play a game that day or if you want to buy a virtual pet bird. Thank you, ladies. I learned a lot about children <laughs> in the house. <hammock. laughs>